If you want to get paid for your videos on TikTok, then you need to watch this video because the TikTok creator program has left beta and has been replaced with a new program called the Creator Rewards Program. And with the new name come a bunch of changes. The biggest of which are TikTok promising that the days of only earning a few dollars per million views are over and that creators are gonna be able to earn much bigger payouts under the new program. But there is a lot that you need to know. So today I'm gonna be explaining the new formula that TikTok is using to pay creators, the eligibility requirements for the Creator Rewards Program, and the changes that you need to be making to your videos in order to increase your earnings under the new program. TikTok has also announced a brand new feature called the Creator Search Insights Tool, which is gonna allow you to make more money from your videos without having to get as many views. But in order to understand how that works, you need to first understand the formula that is determining payouts under the new program. Similar to Creativity Beta, TikTok's new Creator Rewards Program is for original content that's over a minute long. And the program is gonna be using something called the Optimized Rewards Formula in order to pay creators. The formula uses four key metrics to determine and how much creators will be paid for their videos. And I'm gonna go in depth into all four of these metrics because it is a massive change from the previous program. The four key metrics of the optimized rewards formula are originality, play duration, audience engagement, and search value. Now, originality is probably the most important metric because if you are not getting this one right, you are not going to get paid. And as you may have noticed, you may not get views either. TikTok has been cracking down on unoriginal content, which is not permitted under the community guidelines. And it's a big reason why so many people are doing okay on TikTok and getting views. And then one day they suddenly start getting zero views on all of their videos. Or alternatively, their videos are still being shown to their followers, but they are not eligible for the you page. And so as we go into this new era on TikTok, it's important that you start thinking of the platform more like how you see YouTube. TikTok does not want a bunch of clips and memes and AI generated content on the platform. They want real people creating valuable content that educates and entertains, and they're going to continue cracking down on what they believe to be low value content that isn't original. But what is original content? TikTok defines original content under the Creator Rewards Program as quality content that's designed, filmed, and produced by you that showcases your expertise your talent, and or your creativity. It also has to follow the terms of service and the community guidelines. They also provide us with this list of things that are not considered original content under the rewards program, but it is not limited to the things on this list. Some of the examples include duets and stitches, which makes sense. Also, any content that is completely copied from other creators without the watermarks, this also includes slight modifications. So if you were speeding it up, or you're applying a filter or doing something so that way your clip does not look like, or looks like a modified original use of another person's content, that ain't gonna fly. TikTok also says that if you were using content from other creators and you were not significantly modifying that content to add your new ideas or perspectives, then it is not original content. Content. And there's a couple other things here, but the big picture is that when somebody creates a piece of art, when they create a video or music or anything, it is automatically copyrighted. That's how it works in the law. So the big takeaway here is that if you want to make money on TikTok, you need to be making your own content because using someone else's content is an intellectual property violation and it's against the community guidelines. So if you were noticing that you're suddenly getting zero views or your videos are no longer eligible for the For You page, there's a good chance that you violated the unoriginal content and QR code section of the community guidelines. But if you're an educational creator that is helping people solve problems with your content, you are going to be rewarded under this new program. This will become even more clear when we start talking about the new search value metric, but first we have to talk about play duration. The second key metric is play duration, which TikTok says accounts for both watch time and finish rate. They also say the new formula rewards accounts with content that's clear, engaging, rather than favoring accounts with an excessive amount of videos. Okay, this is a big change and there are two key components here. I wanna start with the second part of that because because I think it is fundamentally different than how we've traditionally viewed TikTok. Posting five or more times per day will not help you earn more money under the new Creator Rewards program. And if you watch this channel, you know I've been banging this drum for a while now. TikTok has come out and said that they don't want you to be posting that much volume. In fact, TikTok recommends that you only post one to four times per day. And now they are reinforcing that idea by saying that if you post too much on the platform, it's actually going to hurt your earnings. And I think this is a great thing because it means that people are gonna start backing up and they're not gonna be flooding the feeds. And so there's gonna to be more room and more views for quality content. The other piece of this is how watch time and finish rate are now both being considered as part of the formula. That means that we need to be creating higher quality, savable content that people are going to watch all the way to the end. And I'm going to be sharing some strategies later in the video to help you with that. So make sure you stick around. I think the fact that watch time and finish rate are being considered together is really interesting because TikTok has traditionally emphasized watch time percentage. And since they were emphasizing the percentage of the video being watched, it really encouraged you to create shorter videos so you could get that percentage higher and get more views and get discovered. Contrast that to YouTube, which puts an emphasis on average view
view duration. And because of that, you always wanted to create longer videos on YouTube because it meant the average number of minutes watched was gonna be much higher. And that was what got your videos pushed. So it's pretty clear with this combination of watch time and finish rate that TikTok is aiming for something different. They want us to create longer videos and they want people to watch for a longer period of time, but they don't want it to come at the expense of people not finishing the videos. So what we're gonna have to do is find that sweet spot or the length for us personally that gets us the most watch time possible without people only watching half the video. Audience engagement is becoming a key metric now as well, which means that if you have more likes, comments, and shares, you are going to get paid more. And it's great to see that the creators that are taking the time to build a community and actually engage with their audience and get them to engage with their content are going to earn more because of it. But it's important to remember that TikTok is traditionally not valued engagement as much as they have watch time. So having a lot of likes on a video is not going to get you as many views as having comments or high watch time is going to. And I would continue that trend and that way that they value things to be the same under this new optimized rewards formula. The last metric is called search value. And this is probably the biggest change from creativity program beta. TikTok has even rolled out a brand new tool called Creator Search Insights to help us be able to create videos that have higher search value so we can earn more. And I'm going to do an entire walkthrough in the next section showing you how to use this tool along with some tips that you can use for each of those metrics to increase your earnings under the new program. But first, let's talk about search value. TikTok wants to improve the search functionality of the platform, and they are actually going to reward creators that create searchable content that answers the biggest questions that their viewers have. What's really interesting about this is that videos on highly searched topics are going to get boosted rewards under the new program. This is great news for educational creators like myself and like many of you, because if you are creating content that helps people solve the problems that they are struggling with, you are going to win and you are going to get paid more. And now, instead of just trying to focus on getting the most views possible to get paid, you can start focusing on creating that searchable content and get paid that way. And I wanna dig into that a little bit more and share a bunch of strategies with you to help you improve your content for each of these metrics. But first, I briefly have to talk about the eligibility requirements for the new Creator Rewards Program. So here are the requirements to join the Creativity Rewards Program. Number one, you have to have a personal account, business accounts, and political accounts will not be eligible. And this is good news because if you've watched any of my content here on YouTube, you know that I always recommend using a personal account or creator account instead of using a business account. You also have to be at least 18 years old, have 10,000 or more followers, and have over 100,000 views in the last 30-day period. And the only con content that is eligible is original content over one minute long. In addition to your videos being over a minute long, you're also only going to be paid for qualified views. But what is a qualified view to begin with? TikTok states that a qualified view is a unique video view from the For You feed and excludes views with fraud, paid views, disliked views, or views with less than five seconds watched. They also say that your video has to reach a thousand For You feed views in order to be eligible to get paid out on. So that's two really big points there. You need a thousand views on the video to get paid and it needs to be from the For You page. The other views don't count. And if somebody doesn't watch more than five seconds of the video, you aren't going to get paid for that view. And so this is why you might have a million views on your video, but only get paid out on 500,000 of them. But knowing these things, there are actually changes that we can make to our content to make sure that we are getting paid as much as possible with every video that we post. So I wanna share a couple of tips to improve your payout based on each of the key metrics. At this point, I think we've beaten the original content thing to death, so we're gonna start with play duration. The first thing you need to do is make sure that you are creating savable content. Understand who your ideal viewer is, what it is that they are struggling with, and create the best piece of content that you can every single video to help them make progress. If you're creating savable Savable content, that means that they are going to either watch the video the whole way through or they are going to save it so they can come back and watch it later. And that's going to have a massive impact on our ability to get that high finish rate. And there's two things that we need to do in order to create savable content. The first one is that our content needs to help people solve a problem. And the second is that we need to be talking about the symptoms that they have that are caused by that problem. Because sometimes people don't know what exactly they need help with, but everybody knows what the symptoms are that they are feeling. For example, you might be getting great views on your videos on TikTok, but you're not able to make any money from the content. And so the symptom is like you're not making money and you don't know what the reason for that is. It might be because you're creating the wrong type of content and you're not attracting buyers, or it might be that your profile and your funnel is not set up properly to turn your viewers into buyers. And so if I create a video focusing on the symptom, I can say something like, if you are getting views, but you are not getting buyers from your content, it's probably because you're making the wrong content and you don't even know it. And so now I've just introduced a problem by talking about that person's symptom and I've just gotten them to save that content and watch it all 
all the way through because I made them aware of what it is they're dealing with. The next thing we want to do to improve that play duration is we want to focus on getting that first five seconds of watch time. So everybody knows that a hook is important, but now that we know that we aren't going to get paid unless they watch five seconds or more of the video, we need to do everything in our power to keep them watching for that amount of time. That means we need to be stopping the scroll. That way they stop and watch our video in the feed in the first place. We also need to start using text at the start of our videos. We need to have titles on our videos that grab people's attention because our brains process the written word faster than we do the words that we hear. So if you can create curiosity or come up with some really great text that grabs the attention of your ideal viewer, you are most likely going to get them to stop scrolling and to watch through the first five seconds. Finally, you want to dive straight into the content. Get right to the point. No fluff, no introduction. You have to keep their attention. The final thing we need to do to improve play duration and get paid more for our videos is we have to focus on that finish rate metric. And there's three things I want you to start doing to improve your finish rate. First, use auto captions. Put captions on every single video so that way if somebody sees your video and they're interested in it, they can watch and understand what's happening without having to use the volume. People scroll on TikTok while they're in the grocery line. They scroll on TikTok while they're watching TV with other people, but that doesn't mean that they can have the sound on. So you need to put those captions so that way they can watch your video no matter what the situation is. You should also start recording your videos one line at a time. Figure out what you're going to say, take some time to write it down and record one line at a time. This is going to make your videos clear and concise, and you're going to be able to say exactly what you want to say, and it's going to reduce the number of times that you screw up when you just try to riff it. You should also be testing different video lengths because you aren't going to know what that sweet spot is that's going to get you a high finish rate and a high view duration until you test the different video lengths. And what's ideal is going to be different for every single creator and every single audience. So I would recommend testing videos that are in that one minute to one minute and 15 second range, basically the shortest videos that you can create that are eligible for the rewards program. Then I would focus on videos that are more in that one and a half to two minute range. And then finally the two minute and longer videos. Do a mix of all of these things until you start to notice a trend where certain video lengths perform better. The next key metric is audience engagement. And there's two main things that you need to be doing in order to increase your engagement. The first thing is that you need to ask people to comment inside of your videos, but you need to do it in a seamless way. It needs to feel natural. So here's what not to do. Don't be like, can you like and comment on my video because it's going to help me grow my account. And if you like my content, I'd really appreciate it. Instead, do something like this. If you are, let's say a fit pro account, then as you're going through your tips for losing weight, you can say, let me know in the comments what your biggest obstacle to reaching your goals is. Now people are going to talk and they're going to comment and it's a natural part of it. And it's going to be great research for your future content. The second thing you need to do is start responding to every single comment on your TikTok. One, if you're responding to all the comments, it's going to create way more engagement. And if you're able to ask a follow-up question to get that person to comment again, that creates even more engagement. And the videos are playing in the background the entire time time somebody is typing a comment. So you're improving play duration and you're improving engagement. You also want to respond to every single comment because it makes your viewers feel comfortable asking questions and commenting on your content in the first place. This was hands down the best thing that I did both on TikTok and on YouTube because people started to actually leave comments saying, hey, I've heard you're the guy that actually answers our questions about TikTok growth. And when that happened, I started to have the repeat viewers, the repeat commenters that posted on every single video and my comments exploded. And now we know that if you have more engagement like that, you are going to get paid more. So it's worth it to take the time to respond to your comments. Finally, let's talk about how we can increase the search value of our content in the new creator search insights tool. Now that we have this new creator rewards program, it's going to be very important when you're doing your content research that you spend more time looking up what it is that people are actually searching for. That way you can create content about it because that content is going to make more money. And the easiest way to do this is to pull up your TikTok and go to the search bar and then look up a topic or keyword that is important in your niche. So I might look up something like digital products. Now what I want you to do is scroll down until you see others searched for this little box right here. This is absolute gold because TikTok is telling you that if you create videos on these topics, they are going to pay you more, but they've also given you this new tool called creator search insights, which is going to make it easier for you to plan your content. So I want to show you how to use it. Okay. So first you need to go back to the search and you're going to type in creator search insights. And this is the only way to find it right now. And when you do, it's going to pull this up and you're going to be able to see this where you can actually learn all about creator search insights and use the tool. Be careful of the accounts that you see under it. It looks like most of them are spam. So do not go to those, do not buy from them or anything like that. Now, once you're inside of the tool, the first thing that you're going to see is this banner here that says boost your rewards when your videos perform well in search. And you're going to want to click on this and read through all of it because there's some really helpful information inside of here. A couple of key things on this page. Number one, you can check your eligibility for the program right there. There 
They're also gonna give you some tips on how to maximize your search performance so you can get more views. And then really important at the bottom, it says, what is a recommended topic? And it explains that recommended topics are like the hottest topics in search that don't have enough videos created about them yet. It also explains here that recommended topics are going to earn you more rewards compared to other searchable topics that you're gonna find inside of the tool because they're gonna get higher engagement. So we wanna look out for those when we're doing our research. Now, if we go back, you're gonna see here um, under search topics, there's a for you and a trending. And under all of these topics, like you can see here for me, it says marketing digital course. I have the ability to save this video into a file so I can look at those later. I can actually go here to the top to see favorites and I'll be able to see that so I can start storing the ones that I wanna create videos on. You can also hit this video button and immediately start recording the video. So you're gonna to wanna to scroll through here and see what are the searchable topics that they're recommending. You can see here that this one is a recommended topic and therefore should get higher engagement. But when I'm looking at this, it has nothing to do with my niche and the content that I create for all of you. So this is probably something I'm gonna skip on. And this is really the biggest drawback with this tool right now. I know it's brand new, but when I look at the search topics that's suggesting, most of them aren't actually a good fit for me. And I'm sure this is gonna improve over time, but right now it's not great. Now both the for you topics and the trending topics are gonna have drop down menus. And so if you click on that drop down menu on the for you section, you're gonna see that it's gonna show all recommendations as well as content gaps and searches by followers. So this is really interesting because if you are able to see what are the things that your followers are searching for, that's gonna be great content ideas that are probably gonna have a higher payout. You can also see the content gap, which is gonna show the things that are searched for but don't really have a lot of relevant videos, which we already know from the recommended videos that these are gonna get the highest engagement and they're gonna get the highest payout. Now, like I just said, this isn't very useful for me right now. I don't think that the keyword or the search recommendations are things that my audience is really gonna want. But I can see how with it being a brand new tool, as people start to use it more and it gets more data and it starts to understand your particular audience better under this new system, that we're gonna start getting way better recommendations that are gonna help us create better content that is higher paying content. Now, the biggest problem that you're probably facing at this point is that you just don't have enough followers to qualify for the Creator Rewards program. But if you watch this video, I'm gonna show you how to optimize your profile and your videos to get more followers so you can start getting paid on TikTok.